leaving Namibia after a week with friends and it is an emotional goodbye. I'm gonna miss my Namibian family. Now I get to board this Dreamliner. Off to Svalbard. Leaving the desert, heading to the Arctic. Happy solstice. It is the longest day of the year, and what a beautiful day it is. I'm wearing my, uh, my tank top outside for 24 hours of sun. The days will begin to get shorter, but for the next few weeks, I got nothing but sunshine. What's up and happy solstice to all of my solstice soulmates. Solstmates. Solstmates. We'll call you we'll call you my solstmates. We have reached the point of the longest day of the year and have officially dropped into summer. And although the celebration of solstice has never really meant all that much to me, I have enjoyed using it as a lens to experience the various places and cultures that I'm in at the time of solstice. So over the years I've lived and traveled in dozens of different places that all have their own unique qualities that all shine under the light of the solstice sun. Now the most memorable one for me was being all the way up north in the Norwegian Arctic. Norwegian. Norwegian. <laughs> All the way up north in the North Norwegian are on the island of Svalbard, also known as Spitsbergen. A few little fun side notes about Svalbard. It's capital Longyearbyen. Long, oh God, these words on this. Longyearbyen happens to be the most northern settlement in the world with a population of over a thousand people. Nice people, cool architecture, surprisingly great restaurants too. So if you can find work and housing and wanted to stay a while, the cool thing is they do not require a visa to live there. So it happens to be a helpful thing to know if you were on the run from the law and needed to hide away in the most northern city in the world. Just something to keep in mind for whatever reason. The landscape is stunning. 
and it's one of the most accessible places in the world to see polar bears. So going back four years, I was working with a polar tour operator helping to guide travelers in the Arctic and the Arctic regions. Arctic and Arctic, the Antarctic and the Arctic. So all the way up north and all the way down south. And this specific trip was a full month of tours sailing all around Svalbard, far into the Arctic Circle, all the way up to 80 degrees north. That is high. I mean, you're very close to the North Pole when you get there. And while there we were doing things like glacial hikes and zodiac tours, and kayak excursions, but mostly we were there to spot wildlife like fox, walrus, and of course, the great northern monster herself, the polar bear. Now, witnessing these creatures in their habitat under the Arctic sun is nothing short of transformative. Truly, it is. And being there at solstice felt like a cherry on top. Waking up at 2 a.m. to the daylight and the sun low on the horizon, and walking up to the top deck to whale watch while the rest of the ship slept, I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. No, we didn't have the Northern Lights, which ended up coming at the end of the season. And I know that that's a thing that many people go to the Arctic for. But for me at that time, it was a worthwhile sacrifice. Now, I love a sunset as good as any, but it is such a unique way to interact with a part of the world while it's under total sun. So given the chance with the change of seasons and all that comes with that, take the time to notice beautiful details and people and the landscapes all around you. I personally hope to get back up there to experience it like that again one day. I don't currently have plans, but I'm sure I will. But in the meantime, I'll continue to share my journeys and discoveries along the way. So please like and subscribe to follow along. Thank you for watching. Safe travels. Take care.